Me coming out of my room to socialize? Yeah, I mean, I got my dailies done and everything, so yeah, I might as well come out. Oh, look who has emerged from his cave. Wow, I thought you went extinct. No, dinner isn't ready yet. Gee, I'm, I'm getting personally attacked from the get-go. Jesus. People will say all these things, but at the same time, not even figure out maybe that's the reason the person doesn't stay in the room. God forbid I want to come out and get a little bit of fresh air, and, and now, now I'm just suddenly remembering... <laughs> That's why I don't do this. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in r slash insane parents because if you don't got some, you know someone who does. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, peep the link to the Twitch down below because I got some cool stuff in the works and also I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. I've asked you very nicely in the past to not go in my room without asking. It is an invasion of the very little privacy I have, especially to go through my drawers and things. It is not okay. This is your dead. If you didn't keep leaving your fan on, then we wouldn't need to check your room. I feel like you'd do that anyway. I pay for my part of the electricity, so why is it your issue if I forget to turn it off? That's also no excuse to go through my things and my drawers or do anything else. You guys forget to turn yours off sometimes. Sorry for being human. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, you left your fan on, so I went in your room to go turn it off, but I couldn't find the switch, so I made sure to check your drawers. Maybe you hid the switch somewhere, you know? So I just, I had to. Yeah, I got off the one that was causing me issues, which was Discord. Get off of Instagram. I want you to delete it. Find another way to communicate with your friends. I can't? All I do on Instagram is talk to this person and watch reels. That's literally it, and there is no way I am down downloading TikTok. The algorithm is made to target young people and make them question themselves. Huh? Yeah, you don't realize it because you've been part of it for so long. Ah yes, thank you, oh great tech wizard. By the way, are you still having trouble with the TV remote? Look, anytime there's an algorithm, it can become very, very confusing. And really, mine very much stumps me because if I have any type of real stuff, for some reason, Spanish dubbed anime clips is in mine. And I don't know how to turn it off. I won. Yeah, no you didn't. One, I I never agreed to anything. Two, you said in your house, which older sis doesn't live here, and older sister hasn't lived here in years. Yeah, context, the parent done trying to get the kid to come to a mega church with him. You gotta love those people, it's such a wonderful thing, you know, being able to be tax exempt, telling people, give me more money so I can be resurrected, and you know, the good old priest using the donations and such to buy a boat. Actually, just two years as a non-believer, you have to be elsewhere. So you can do what you want. Your non-belief is exactly why you are miserable. Go be free and happy like your older sister. No, I'm actually way happier not believing. After all, I would hate serving a god that is objectively evil, whose words have been used to enslave my people and genocide others, as well as kill whole cultures, both past and presently. You didn't win. I knew you would try to do something like that because you love manipulating stuff to get what you want. Unfortunately, you messed your own self up with words you said yourself. Even if I didn't leave and you still signed me up for that place and I did go, it would be a tremendous waste of your money and my time because it would confirm what I already knew. You were loved, whoever this person is that you are now. I don't know her. Obviously you don't know him. You deny he even exists. This is just vocalization of thoughts I already had but never had the words for. I grew up. Yeah, this just shows that you never loved me unconditionally or that you even accepted me. Your love has always had a condition. I'm sorry that I couldn't fill the role that you wanted, but I never applied for the job anyway. Weird. What is the name of the nuts you eat? The smog is allegedly formaldehyde burning use air cleaner. There's no Native Americans lived here in this climate unless they migrated. Nothing moving, dangerous heat, motherfucker, it's the summer. They'd have to lay by a watering hole all day in shade, not moving. Why do I get the weird feeling this dude don't think that Native Americans are humans like everybody else? Probably using the water to cool off. You know, you would kind of think maybe once, twice, not picking up, they might be busy. But you know, maybe after these many times of trying to contact them, 
they might just not want to talk. Hey there, uh, you don't know me, but I have heard a lot about you. I'm gonna ask for you to please do not block me. Just want to get to know a little more about you. I know you're super awesome and a very well a super child. So when do you graduate or have you already? And I promise to leave you be if you uh, just don't want me to say another word. Yeah, this is the same person from that other thing with the call history. Uh, so yeah, this, this is fantastic. I'm just a person with high hopes on fighting cancer for a while now. But to be honest, I do like to see kids do what they do in life. Y'all are so different from one another. I got four kids or four little ones running around. Wait, so is that eight kids or are you just saying four kids twice? What your hobbies? What do you like most? There has to be some sort of loss of thought process to think, oh yeah, if somebody doesn't want to talk to you, pestering the crap out of them is the definite way to string up a wonderful conversation. Like a thought process that's a result of a lack of thought process. Something like that. Hello, sons. It's very sad for me to receive only a text from my sons when I live in the same city as you guys. Hope one day you won't regret it. Mom, it's not even that late yet, and I tried calling. Did you want to go out for dinner soon? It doesn't have to be today. That's okay. Sorry, Mom, I worked from 12 and just got home. I caught a 13-year-old with a firearm. You know what, guys? I give up on you. Glad you found a real mother someplace else. Just make sure you both send me each month your cell payments and the insurance payments. Goodbye and God bless. Sorry to hear that, but I spent the whole day at home waiting for you to call me back so we can plan something. We only have the one car here, so I needed to know what was going on. Whatever, Blake. I am tired of your excuses, and please get your own phone line. And also, Blank, you also look for your own car insurance. I'm about to cancel everything. What did you want them to do? Come over, be your own personal butler? They said that they tried calling you, but you didn't call back, and then apparently this spawned from that. I don't know what's what when this. What happened to all of the money you made working extra hours slash days? Hey, where are you? Only three hours difference. Oh, yes, a double tech. Wonderful. We are in this location. Where are you? When do we get to meet Redacted? Soon, but this week his dog had surgery, so he couldn't come down, and neither of us can go anywhere during the week. Okay, and please pay off that CC next thing. It is going up by a lot every month, and it is killing your credit score. Please don't open my mail. Please get your mail delivered to your apartment and pay your bills. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I was just surprised that that was your biggest concern in that situation. I've encouraged you multiple times to get that paid off, and you had said that was the major debt you had. So when you made all of the extra money, it would be natural to assume that you would pay off the thing that is costing you the most. It is extremely concerning that you made all that extra money, yet don't have any money right now, and still have and paid off your main debts. Caption stated that you are living alone at home with two children. Yeah, God forbid you're not just able to dump a load of cash into your account to pay off your credit card. No, God forbid you or your kids need to eat. Nope, credit card first. I know financial obligations suck, but also if your parent is only texting you every single day about three things being religion, parenting, or finances, that's very much not going to get any responses anytime soon, and really I would just not be surprised if at some point you just stopped responding. All of this on top of the whole opening the person's mail, which very much is not cool to do at all. That's, uh, yeah, it's kind of illegal, actually. Stated many times, actually. My kids were raised with conservative values, and one even had a poster of the Constitution hanging in her bedroom. Then they went to college, and now they are liberals. We parents never knew we were actually paying for indoctrination. Our Gen Z son is conservative. He was homeschooled and has had some kind of job since he was 15. Five years ago, he started working at an automotive assembly plant. No college so his mind never got polluted. He is an old soul. 
College got one of my beautiful girls. She is independent, goal-oriented, and a God-loving woman. I don't recognize her now. I miss her every day. Yeah, hate to break it to you, you three. Um, if your kid goes to college and then their political views suddenly change in your perspective, I can guarantee you they had those ideas beforehand. They just didn't want to be vocal about them because they know for a fact you would have gotten angry and yelled at them about them. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up with some wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.